Hello everyone, this is Fazana from Fazana Slow and in today's video I'll be sharing with you all five things I believe that you should definitely do one week before results day and even if it's not one week and you're already surpassed them, maybe it's like three days left or even four or five days left, it doesn't really matter because these tips will definitely help you in achieving a more calmer mindset when it comes to approaching the results day that is coming up very very soon and as I'm filming this in 2023 this will apply for any results day. For the entirety of this earth so um, I believe that these tips will definitely help anyone who is looking forward to quote unquote to the results day which is for GCSEs and A-level students and even for people who are getting their degree results this this month or even next month whatever it is this would definitely help you I promise so I'm gonna get straight on with the first tip when it comes to one week before results day what you must do and that is accept that you cannot change the grades good or bad I know this sounds very harsh and something that you do not really want to hear but obviously if you're if you're somebody who achieved good grades and well done to you congratulations but if you got bad just accept it as a faith and just accept that everything is happening for a reason and i know that some people do have videos bashing this concept of everything happens for a reason but i believe that's absolutely true because there's some so there's a being above you who's looking after you who knows what's actually best for you who knows what are your plans the best plans for you and so on and so forth according to your life journey and everything like that so and that is god obviously and that's very important to understand that in the moment you might you might look at your results and it's all full of c's b's or d's or e's or whatever it is and you might feel really disappointed on yourself but i promise you life will get definitely better um, if you don't react badly to it i know it's a very hard thing for you to accept in the moment that oh i did not get what i expected i should have got something better how could that person get more than me and they have not revised at all i've seen them never revise i've seen them only hanging out but let me tell you once it, once you have that calm attitude when you look at your results and you just don't question it like you just you just surrender yourself to the plan that god has for you you will definitely feel much lighter you will be able to make better decisions on that day and you will feel less stressed in comparison to someone who is just can't kind of control their emotions or they're feeling overly nervous overly anxious overly of everything basically everything everything has a limit so you don't want to be overburdening yourself on that day you want to stay as calm as possible have the attitude that whatever is good for me is good for me regardless of what grades i get and if you want to watch my video about the you know the truth about results did them i really doubt them i really actually help you so yeah just accept that these are your grades and obviously some people can challenge you know the offset people whatever i don't know whatever they're called that company yeah i think it was offset and you can challenge them and everything like that but at the end of the day whatever is meant for you is meant for you and you should just accept it the second thing that i would definitely recommend for you to practice one week before results day is to the art of gratitude for everything in life small or big and this is very crucial because sometimes we attach ourselves to things that we think that they are part of our soul our body our you know self-esteem and identity in general when we start neglecting all the other things that are happening that are good or bad you know good and big or small in our life so that's very important that we start appreciating the little things in our life you know if you have still got parents appreciate them if you still have siblings that are really healthy and have a good relationship with you then stick to them if you still have you know emails of your teachers and that stay in touch with them so there are so many things to be grateful for. if you have a roof, roof on top of your head you should be definitely grateful about that because for some people who are living homeless and they still have to study and maybe they are not eating enough and you have a fridge full of food or something like that so there's always something to be grateful for if you have eyes ears and wi-fi to watch this listen to this take this and embody this in your heart and your you know in your being you should be definitely definitely feel grateful and you should not be feeling like oh my god what is this i should have got something better because when you once you're in a state of gratitude you're gonna start seeing everything in a good in a good positive light and everything will seem positive and it will not seem like a burden to you even if it's something bad you'll see it as a lesson rather than a sin that you have committed and now you have to change and now you have to repent yourself and all those kind of stuff so it's very important that you are practicing the art of gratitude and everything in your life look in a positive set lens in your life and whether it's big or small and you will see how your attitude is quite different on the results day 
the third thing that I'll definitely mention about results day is that escape yourself and travel or spend time with family. This is very, very important because I feel like one week before the results day is when students start feeling, you know, they want to stay at home. Maybe they want to watch Netflix or they want to watch movies. They don't really want to go out. They don't really want to do things that brings them joy or hobbies and everything like that. But this is exactly the moment where you should be doing all those things to distract yourself from the negative thinking, negative emotions that you might be attaching yourself to the results day and you're making yourself overly nervous for no reason and this is when i highly recommend for you to travel whether it's by yourself with your friends with your family spend time with your family your parents your siblings your um your cousins whatever that might be wherever you're close to maybe try something new a new cuisine that you've never tried before or go to a fancy restaurant that you've never been before or I don't know go to an exhibitions that had just come up in new in london whatever it is just do something every single day that will bring you joy that brings you happiness that brings you makes you think that the life is more about than just grades and education and education is definitely important because my youtube channel is all about education but there is more life to it and hence why i have two other youtube channels which is fazana's adventures which is all about travel food cooking whatever and fazana's legacy is all about you know islam spirituality and personal development so your life is more than just education and grades and who got a first class who got a a star who got a grade nine and who's doing medicine or law or engineering whatever it is so it's very important to escape yourself and do something every single day that brings you ultimate happiness the fourth tip that i would definitely give to anyone who is watching this one week before results day or whenever is a plan briefly about your next steps but do not spend hours thinking about it because that can be something done really easily especially one week before results we start thinking that oh yeah if i get this grade then i'm gonna go here if this happens then i'm gonna do this and so on and so forth that's just wasting your time of course it's very important to plan but plan quite briefly don't spend hours and hours thinking about it and just ruining your day for no reason maybe allocate yourself a container of you know maybe 10 to 15 minutes i'm going to discuss and maybe with my parents or with myself and decide what am i going to do if i get all three a stars or three a's or three b's or three c's and so on and so forth and don't spend too much on it thinking about it every single day because that's not going to bring any benefit to you at all and you're just going to exhaust yourself your brain and you're just going to bring negativity into your life in your in your environment in your room which you don't want honestly you want something that is high vibration something that is bringing you happiness bringing you joy and always always think to yourself why am i thinking this like why am i unnecessarily thinking about this because you don't know what you're gonna get okay so what's the point of thinking about oh yeah if i you know if i get three c's i'm gonna be so sad and stuff like that because it doesn't really it doesn't really matter honestly i know it's hard obviously of course i know it's very hard for you to think like that but don't worry everything is going to be absolutely fine i promise and even if the moment you think that that's the worst thing that could have happened to you that's the best thing trust me and the last thing that i'll definitely say about what to do one week before results day is surprise yourself every day and build a growth mindset which goes back to the third point about escaping yourself but this means just you know learn something new every day a new term a new word or stack on yourself on all the ideas that randomly that you get maybe sometimes when you're sitting in the toilet you might get a cool idea you should write that down maybe build on yourself and stuff like that and that will definitely definitely help you because then you will have this you know mindset this incentive that oh this is something very new to me and maybe i should work on this idea instead of just thinking about results for no reason because that's not going to bring you any joy whatsoever and unless you're very overconfident on yourself that you got really really good grades and you are definitely going to get a star then you're definitely going to go to a great uni or college then that's something completely different but not everybody's like that let's be honest so it's very important that you are working on your ideas working on your projects working on things that you know that distract you so it makes you more than your grades more than your education which i mentioned very thoroughly on my results day video which i've uploaded previously but other than that that's basically the video for what to do one week before results day and i hope that this video really does help you because this was something that i was going through as well leading up to gccs and a levels and even my degree results it was something that i could not stop thinking and i wish that in that moment this video popped up in my feed on youtube and i had watched it and maybe i would have been a different person now 
more embodied more happy more grateful and everything like that but that doesn't mean that i'm not doing those things now but it's just that the earlier you start doing this those these things the better it is of course for you and i hope that you really enjoyed this video and if you did please do like share and subscribe and please share with other students who might be having their results day very very soon whether that's gcc a levels degree postgraduate it doesn't matter and I hope to see you guys on the next one, which will be all about what to expect on results day. And that's something very exciting and something that, you know, I wish I had so many results day. I've, I've had about four results day now, so I know what to expect and what not to expect, what is good for you. But this is going to be specifically catered to GCSEs and A-levels. Uh, but if you want a degree version of that, that's different. But this is going to be mostly about GCSEs and A-levels. I'll see you guys in my next week's video or a video that is going to be filmed soon.